Now that we have seen how to sign up and log in to SlideShare, let's see how to explore resources on SlideShare. Click on the Explore button which is on the menu bar. Here you can choose any category. The categories are Art and Photos, Automotive, Business, Career, Design and Education among others. For this example, we will be using education. Once the education category is clicked, a new page opens like the one which has been opened here. Let us type in a topic in the search option. Let us click on enter. Now. Here we can see say more than uh, almost a lakh results for educational psychology. Now if we want to get more specific or see a particular area in educational psychology then SlideShare provides us with a filter option. Here it says uploaded time say there are options like last 7 days last 30 days and last 365 days or there are different file types such as presentations, documents, videos and infographics. We can choose either one of them and then get a narrowed result for the topic that we are searching for. Let's say uploaded time to be last 7 days and all file types to be presentation. Now we get around 176 results for educational psychology. So there are these options which can make your results specific. Here by clicking on the presentation we can view its contents. Downloading content. SlideShare is a storehouse of content in various file formats that can easily be downloaded. The files may be in various formats like Word documents, PDFs, audio files, video files, presentations, e-charts, diagrams and even webinars. All these resources are freely available. That is we may download anytime sitting anywhere in the world free of cost. This content may be used in the class directly. Some material may not be downloadable. In such a case, link to these files may be shared with the learners. Let's go on to learn how to download resources using SlideShare. We can see a list of resources. Click on the resource that you want to download. On the bottom left corner of the resource, we can see a save option. Click on the save option. The download has begun. There is a small dialog box which has appeared here. This is asking you to save the file to a specified location. Click on OK. Let us save this presentation onto our machine. You need to click on a specified path or location where you would like to save the resource. Once you choose the location, click on Say Save. You can see that the download process has begun. Click on this arrow here. Here the presentation has been downloaded. When you double click on the presentation, you can view the contents. 